exercise. Um, okay, cool. So we're going. Check this out, y'all. So there's our first riff. We're at the 10th fret D box one. And there's our unison, like we talked mm -hmm. about, same note. So there we are. So go ahead and learn that. where we were noticing that um, like as opposed to Hendrix who very clearly or, or Freddie King who thinks of and then I'm gonna do other stuff Johnny Winter's version is and then other shit happens you know okay. so, as opposed to mm -hmm. and that's what we're seeing him do both times he does it so yeah we're like uh, you know so like yeah we're really getting good at that just go like like and then go one of the regular ones, then just kind of like, mm -hmm. we want your subconscious to really generate both of those ideas, um, and that's the center of what sounds like Johnny Winter about this, he chooses that, as opposed to just, he's every time so far. Anyway, so, then we go, uh, fucking, who did them? All right. And there's, here's where we talked about, you know, like hand position, like you were using your pinky there subconsciously, and, you know, like having this part of your knuckle touching. Um, so, yeah, happy medium between classical position and this, like a motherfucker. Is, you know, we're, what we're doing is we're getting our thumb over the top so that we have leverage and stuff, but you want to be more out in front of the instrument than you usually are. So, this is like a start over week, um, positioning wise. Uh, like, you know, so there it is. That's what's making this seem difficult thumb over this far means like you bend here and you only have this much of your fingers and everything like the fourth string feels like a reach um, versus just a little different you know you just, all, the whole situation is just rotating back but we got to do that without creating space back here you know and that's the other thing that's making this difficult because you're trying to be like up here and shit um, you know so there's just two thumb positions there's the one we're currently in and then there's classical position. And here it was your tendency to want to go like for the bend, mm -hmm. which is um, totally counter what actually happens when we want the leverage. Um, and it was something to do with like not being able to reach the notes. So you know the short version is your thumb's going to be in the same position as the entire riff, and it's the you know thumb over top position, but not the thumb really like yeah. You know, there we go. So that's uh, that's what's up this week is you just kind of have to reset. Your thumb will be a little longer than mine, but we're still talking about like, you know, just that where you still have your full fingers and you can do things like that. Um, and I'm leaving a high note ringing out versus if I'm like this where it's going to, you know, hit extra strings. We always want to be able to come straight in at the strings, uh, though we didn't do any like stuff in this. Anyway, whatever. So, and then we have our uh, part that he does back at. Uh, top of the neck, which like we realized he's actually in E, just tuned down a whole step, mm -hmm. but we did it by going to just drop D and we can play the stuff he is. <laughs> that note, or it'll sound, then you'll end up going, no, we mean, so it's just, you know, if I was just going, the same thing would occur, so it's just, anyway, so what if you went, um, and he goes, so that's zero, that's our, Two to zero. 
zero on that string. And now we're going zero to one. Okay, there we are. Um, maybe section, and then he goes uh, first. Yeah, so there's just a quick on the far end of that, so tack it on. So just looking at that, this is an atypical situation. He's actually just going like in mm -hmm. yeah, so he's totally yeah. going like you know it's like in theory. So he's just going. Um, but cool. So a thing that's good to do for next turn. So yeah, three notes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Cool. And then we get a, and then he like goes, which is an open string. So we're just going to be content to go. So our blue scale is with this, which is the. So now he walks down that. Just going down it. So that's going to be all ring finger, though. Would be a legit approach to it if yeah. there weren't all ways about to bend or whatever. Right. Like here, you could go and then switch back and it would be a legitimate choice but we'll just go with I'm using my ring finger so there's this excuse me and there he goes to his ring finger again and then he abruptly goes to his again mm -hmm. um, and this time he goes yeah, so like, uh, I guess that's where we left off with over oh, right. it. It's the same thing twice. So what's involved with that is you do have the right hand dampen, like, so we don't want to hear. Right. Just, which is like one of those if you just don't think about it, it turns out it's easy. Thing. So yeah. So we just went. Awesome. And there is the whole thing. Ooh. 